Welcome to BioVid episode 4. My name is Leslie Samuel and in this video I'm going to talk about ion channels, the proteins in the membrane. Specifically inside this video I'm going to talk about the four types of proteins in the membrane of neurons. And you will see that these four proteins are very important to the function of the neurons. So let's get right into it. Now when I think about neurons, this is what I think about. Signals trying to get from one place to the next and it's kind of like these cars on the highway trying to get to a different location. Sometimes it turns left, sometimes it turns right and all that good stuff. Now this might be what you think of where you have a network of cables and you have signals that are traveling rapidly from one point to the next point. Whatever you think about, signals are going from one place to the next and in order for us to look at how this happens we need to understand how these proteins work. So the four types of proteins are, number one we have passive or leakage ion channels. We also have the sodium potassium pumps. We have voltage gated ion channels and lastly we have ligand gated ion channels. I'm going to take these one at a time and we're going to look at how exactly these work. It's going to get a bit technical but just follow along and try to understand how these ion channels function. First we're going to talk about the passive ion channels or the leakage ion channels. This type of ion channel allows ions to passively cross the membrane. The important word here is passively. It does not take energy for this to happen. These channels are ion selective. So for example, there's a specific type of ion channel for sodium ions. There's a specific ion channel for potassium ions. Now if we have more channels, this will mean that we're going to have increased conductance or decreased resistance. In other words, the more channels you have, the more ions can get in and the faster they can do so. These channels are located all throughout the neuron. So from the soma to the dendrites, the axon and the axon terminals, you're going to find these channels in all of those places. Let's look at a diagram of how this works. Here we're looking at the cell membrane and we can see we have a leakage channel and we're going to say that this leakage channel is the channel for sodium. So here I have um, sodium ions and those sodium ions are inside the cell and they want to get outside of the cell. How this is going to happen is quite simple. So the sodium ions are just going to pass across that channel and it can get from inside the cell to outside the cell. Next we're going to look at the sodium potassium pump. Now the sodium potassium pump we're going to call it the NAK pump for short. It pumps three sodium ions out of the cell and two potassium ions into the cell. These details are very important, so remember three sodium out and two potassium in. This takes energy, and if you remember from BioVid episode three, the energy in the cell comes from adenosine triphosphate or ATP. These are also located all throughout the neuron. Let's look at how that one works. So here we have a sodium potassium pump with those three sodium ions and those three sodium ions can then go to the binding site. ATP comes in, gives it energy, and it can pump those sodium ions out. Then we're going to have the two potassium ions that come into their binding site, and when the sodium potassium pump releases the phosphate group, those two potassium ions are going to be pumped to the inside. So there we have it. We have three sodium ions on the outside and two potassium ions on the inside. What this is going to do is it's going to set up a concentration gradient where you can see that sodium is going to be more concentrated on the outside and potassium is going to be more concentrated on the inside. Now let's talk about the voltage gated ion channels. Voltage gated ion channels open in response to changes in membrane voltage. In other words, a change in the membrane potential. There are two main classes that we're going to talk about and those are the voltage gated sodium ion channels and the voltage gated potassium ion channels. These are found in the axons and the axon terminals. In the axon terminals specifically we have voltage gated calcium channels. Now let's look at how that works. Here we have again the cell membrane and we have a voltage gated ion channel but you'll notice here that the ion channel is closed and even if these sodium ions wanted to get in it could not get in because the channels are closed. 
So what needs to happen is there needs to be a voltage that goes across the membrane and once that happens that opens the channels and those sodium ions or whatever the ions are can move into or out of the cell. Last but not least let's talk about the ligand gated ion channels. These are channels that open when it binds to specific molecules and we call these molecules ligands. They are found in the input regions of the neurons, so the dendrites and the soma. And here we can see we have a channel in the membrane. Once again, the channel is closed. And in order to open the channel, we need the ligands to come and bind to the channel, which then causes it to open, and then the ions can come in. So in review, we have four types of channels that we looked at. The passive or leakage ion channels, the sodium potassium pump, voltage-gated ion channels, and lastly, the ligand-gated ion channels.